What's up guys, Tyler Higgins here with the Living in Kentucky YouTube channel and today's video is going to be the five best places to live in Kentucky. So if you're thinking about moving to Kentucky but you're not sure what city you want to live in, this is going to be a great video for you to watch. Okay, five best places to live in Kentucky. Um, we're going to go ahead and start with number one, Lexington, Kentucky. If you're familiar with Kentucky at all or you've done any kind of research, I'm sure you have already stumbled on Lexington. As far as Central Kentucky goes, it's the biggest city here in Central Kentucky. It's got a population around 325,000 people. Uh, the metro of Lexington is a lot bigger, probably five or 600,000, but the city itself about 325,000 people. What's it known for? Why is it a good place to live? I've got a few different things. Some of them may seem really important to you, some may not, but I think they're pretty neat nonetheless. So uh, let's start off. It's the horse capital of the world. So if you in any way, shape, or form like horses, are into horses, love horses, interested in horses, Lexington, Kentucky is going to be the place for you to be. Uh, we've got Keeneland, a very famous historic racetrack, and we also have the Kentucky Horse Park. Uh, beautiful rolling green grass and hills, beautiful horses. It's a really rich tradition and a really good time. Uh, what else does Lexington have? It's got a really cool, thriving downtown area. You, I mean, tons of different places to eat, entertainment options, things to do, great place to go for a walk, very scenic. It's continually growing and thriving. They're doing new developments down there that are really high quality and bringing a lot to the city, which is a great uh, perk of Lexington as well. Um, another thing is it's got the University of Kentucky, so a big SEC prominent school right here in Lexington in Central Kentucky. Uh, you know, obviously known for their basketball, but a good football program now. Really rich tradition and history around that uh, campus, around that university. And I would definitely say it's one of the heartbeats of the town. Um, what else does it have going on? Tons of uh, great housing options. Whether you're looking for more of your subdivision neighborhood type area, you know, new developments that are going up in Lexington, beautiful new construction homes, or your older established neighborhoods if you're looking for something like that. Um, or possibly if you can find a house with some acreage, you know, we're in the middle of these beautiful horse farms. So it's got a really wide array of different housing options. All right, number two best place to live in Kentucky, Richmond, Kentucky. Now this is personally where me and my family live. As I sit in my office, I'm about three minutes from my house. Uh, we love Richmond. We live in downtown Richmond. So I'll tell you a little bit about Richmond. It's got a population around 40,000 people. It's actually the fastest growing city in the state of Kentucky. Um, and with that said, I think there's a lot of uh, really cool and fun and exciting development in the pipeline for Richmond. For instance, we just got approved for a $12 million park, uh, you know, soccer fields, amphitheater, walking trails, baseball fields, uh, playground, you know, all that really cool stuff. Um, we're supposedly getting another really big development that's going to be a mixed-use development with shops and restaurants and housing and uh, the rumor is a Costco and a Sam's Club and a Publix which I'm excited for I love that Costco hot dog uh, what else does Richmond have I think one really cool unique thing about Richmond so it's just south of Lexington across the Kentucky River um, but it's kind of considered Eastern Kentucky as well so what I'm trying to get at is that we get the cultural influence and impact of both central Kentucky, so the, like I was saying, the horse farm, Lexington, like tried and true, bluegrass area, but we also have this little flavor and style of eastern Kentucky. So it's almost like a hybrid and in between, between central Kentucky and eastern Kentucky, which I find really, really neat. It's an affordable place to live. Um, it's more affordable than Lexington, um, which Lexington, again, relatively speaking, is affordable if you're looking at other parts of the country. But Richmond, as far as housing goes, is definitely much more affordable than Lexington. And then lastly, uh, we have Eastern Kentucky University here. Uh, great state school, a lot of really good degrees and programs there. My wife graduated from there. Um, I couldn't say enough about EKU. Oh, and one last thing, maybe the most important thing in Richmond um, is we have a Bucky's now. So if you've never been to a Bucky's, it is an absolute spectacle of a gas station. I think it's like 53,000 square foot, beef jerky, brisket, fudge, home decor, clothing, sunglasses, anything you can imagine. Uh, we've got a Bucky, brand new Bucky's right here in Richmond, Kentucky. All right, moving on from Richmond, um, the third best place to live here in Kentucky is Georgetown, Kentucky. So I've got, uh, Georgetown kind of has a special place in my heart. 
I graduated from Georgetown College, so I spent four years up in Georgetown. I uh, really loved it, and it's got some great perks. One of those being a beautiful downtown. When you hit Main Street in downtown Georgetown, it truly is just picturesque. It looks like it came out of a magazine. Uh, lots of shops and restaurants, cool things to do. It's got your small town, hometown Kentucky feel uh, too still, which is really nice. Um, another perk of Georgetown, like Richmond, is it's thriving and it's growing as well. For a long time, Georgetown was the fastest growing city in Kentucky. and I, uh, It's still second, I would guess, to Richmond, um, but it's thriving and growing. So it's a great place to live and raise a family. There's a lot of good jobs in Georgetown. So there's a huge, huge Toyota manufacturing plant in Georgetown that provides a lot of employment. And I believe they are actually building a uh, kind of another extension, another branch off of that Toyota plant that's going to bring more jobs as well. So if you're looking for a job, you're wanting to move central uh, to central Kentucky, Georgetown might be a great option for you. Um, it's got Georgetown College, like I said, which is really nice. And then lastly, it's close to Lexington, similar to Richmond. They're both about oh, 20 to 25 minutes uh, to Lexington. So Georgetown's very convenient to Lexington. If for some reason you find yourself you know, not finding an amenity or something you want or need in Georgetown, you can just shoot on down to Lex and you're right there. And then lastly, it's affordable as well. So similar to Richmond, um, it's an affordable place to live, a little more affordable than Lexington. Might be a little higher price than Richmond, but still pretty affordable place to live. All right, let's transition to our fourth one, Danville, Kentucky. So Danville is uh, the smallest uh, city population-wise on our list so far. It's about 18,000 people. And with that said, I think there's a lot of a lot of pros and perks to that. So Danville definitely captures the essence of the quaint, uh, small town feel. Everybody knows everybody. You know, you're kind of your Mayberry town. Um, I really like Danville. It's beautiful. It's kind of tucked away in its own little area, but you're still only, you know, 45 minutes from Lexington probably. They've got a great college there. It's a small liberal, small liberal arts school, Center College. Uh, very studious, very hard to get into, but you're going to come out of there with a very good education. Uh, Danville's Main Street was actually uh, awarded with the Great American Main Street Awards. Like I said, just absolutely picturesque downtown, gorgeous downtown. I love it so much when we get our, a chance to visit there. Um, and then it's really affordable. So it's the most affordable place to live on our list so far um, is Danville. So probably some more rural housing options there. You definitely have your subdivisions. You definitely have your downtown housing. But you can definitely find some um, homes on some acreage and land, you know, some farms, mini farms, that kind of thing in Danville. So that's our fourth best place to live in Kentucky. And then lastly um, is Berea, Kentucky. So Berea is even smaller than Danville. It's about 15,000 people. So Berea is just south of Richmond. And before I jump into Berea, one thing I wanted to do is uh, tell you the counties with these cities as well, which I forgot to do. So let me backtrack just a little bit. Lexington's in Fayette County, Richmond's in Madison County, Georgetown is in Scott County, Danville is in Boyle County, and then Berea is also in Madison County um, with Richmond. So Berea is 10, 12 minutes south of Richmond, and it's got it's really unique. It's got a lot of character, it's got a lot of history, um, it's got a historic downtown with a lot of old historical buildings and restaurants. Berea College's uh, campus is gorgeous and it's located downtown as well. So when you get into Berea and you go downtown, it just feels peaceful. Um, it feels a little slower, a little quieter, a little calmer, um, and it's, it's really serene and really pretty um, when you get downtown there. The Pinnacles, that's another perk of living in Berea. So the Pinnacles is a hiking trail, essentially, I don't know if you want to call it a mountain, foothill of a mountain. Um, but it's a great hiking trail. Me and my family have done it multiple times. It was actually voted the best hiking trail in Kentucky. There's more that are, there's other hiking trails that are bigger and more grand than the Pinnacles, but the combination of the scenery in the Pinnacles, the ease of hiking in the Pinnacles, the convenience and the accessibility of the Pinnacles makes for a really good time and a really fun time. So if you move to Kentucky, you move to Berea, you gotta hike the Pinnacles. And then lastly, out of everywhere on the list, I'd say Berea is probably the most affordable place to live out of these five cities. Um, I sell a lot of houses in Berea as well as all these areas. In Berea, you can definitely find a good deal um, if you're thinking about moving there. So let's rehash the list one more time. Um, we've got Lexington, Richmond, Georgetown, Danville, and Berea as the five best places to live in Kentucky. 
Um, if you need anything, you have any questions about any of these cities, if you're thinking about relocating and moving to Kentucky, uh, all of my contact information and how to get in touch with me, how to search for homes, how to get pre-approved, all that good stuff is going to be in the description below the video. And like I said, if you could go ahead and click that subscribe button. I really appreciate you watching. Um, and make sure you stay tuned to the Living in Kentucky YouTube channel. Like I said, we're going to be putting out a lot of good content that's going to be really helpful for you as you consider a move to Kentucky. Thanks again for watching, guys. I um, hope this was helpful, and stay tuned.